Hello, friends and lovers. Welcome back to some special Hades. It's been a very long time, but I think it is finally the right time to start fresh, start anew in the video game of Hades for personal computer because we are in the Hades 2 countdown. That's right. It is now quarter two, 2024. We are now just awaiting Hades 2. So what better time could we have to simply start all over again and experience Hades as fresh as I possibly could at least. We're going to start a brand new save file on Hell Mode. I shall explain a few things for those of you that are new to this. And uh, But why don't we get the run started first and foremost, though? You know what I mean? Let's get it started. We're going to do this. This is the way we're going to do this. we got to listen to this first. Few tales of total Hades. The inevitable fate which we all share. I, however, mean to tell you such a tale. Listen carefully. So the plan currently is that this will be a series of videos of us playing through Hades every run, every minute under recording. Uh, and so that we can kind of see what it would be like fresh for me, I guess. And also discuss some of the odd oddities that Hades has when you have a brand new save file as well. The timer obviously doesn't matter. But first, let's talk about Hell Mode. So Hell Mode, if you don't know exactly what Hell Mode is, is an optional difficulty setting that you can turn on when you uh, first start a brand new save file. You cannot change it afterwards. You cannot change a normal file to Hell Mode either. Um, all it does is activate five particular uh, packs of punishment. That's it. Nothing else. Literally nothing else is going on in hell mode besides those. And those five packs of punishment have to be on for every single run. So we got them on here. Not really because I think it's going to make anything more interesting. In fact, I think hell mode is probably one of the biggest flaws that Hades has in terms of, you know, just the overall nature of it. Uh, it's just not an intuitive difficulty meter, I think, in the game. I'm talking over it, everything I know. We're probably going to skip a lot of the dialogue, just so you know. Now, let's get you from that miserable place. I'll see that all of us upon Olympus do our part, beginning here with me. God, the dialogue is so much quieter than everything else. In fact, let's take a look at our few settings we have here. I even had the voice volume up, interestingly. But I was thinking, let's lower a few things in particular. Everything else looks fine. Of course, you got to have the screen check on. I also need to, for my personal preference here change some of the settings and you're welcome to like or dislike this you know there's really not much to it to open the codex i just use my keyboard basically but yeah left trigger cast it feels really really good for me putting summon on um r3 is fine since you don't use it that often plus we may never even get to a summon left button a uh, reload uh, i usually i used to swap between uh reloading cast being on left trigger but finally i've i've bitten the bullet and i've changed it to left button it's still taking a bit for me to get used to it's not going to come into play for a long time here though so anyway we i am going to try to win on the first run there's a lot for me to discuss here though i basically covered hell mode i'm not going to get into too much detail at least here because there's so much to talk about in regard to, in regards to your very first run in hades it is extremely particular it is extremely catered to a new player what happens in your first run this chamber that we just fought through is the exactly the same every time same exact enemies i think even the same exact spawn pattern and you get the same exact boons offered from athena as well here so our best odds or anyone's best odds for beating the game on your first run is to go for the merciful and duo boon which means we have to get Ares's attack is that going to happen probably not unless i'm willing to reset a lot uh, so I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, because of that, I'm probably not going to win on this first run at all, but that's okay. We're, there's a good chance we're not going to win every run, right? The way I'm looking at things. Um, I guess you just go the healthier. I haven't, I haven't even attempted a first run in a very long time. I don't know why I'm pausing here. We don't have tight deadline on. Um, but if you want to maximize the odds of seeing Ares, I think you need to go this way. Not really sure about that, honestly for this so there's only four gods you can see on your very first run of hades and that is athena of course uh Ares, dionysus and artemis all the other gods are locked you cannot see them you also cannot get a hammer you cannot get uh any wells which is actually a really big loss wells meaning the areas where you can buy consumables as you go oh, gosh what else is there i said no hammers uh there will be no hermes as well 
So there is definitely a lot of bad things about the first run and things that made it especially make it especially difficult to actually get a win. I actually have not gotten a win on first run as it's called, at least in the speedrunning community, not since after 1.0 of the game. And it got significantly harder after 1.0. Just something, you know, like a lot of other people have already done it. And I, you know, I, I congratulate them on the difficult feat, but I just never really wanted to put in the time for it, honestly. But I will do my best here. <laughs> I will try my dangus. Uh, and it get, definitely gets significantly easier once you exit the first run area. A few more things open up, but also you get to spend a little bit of, uh, I guess we have to do health here. You don't really want to palm the dash, you know? Uh... Once you get a little bit of darkness in the mirror, just like one death defiance, right? Is a very, very big deal. So we're trying to sagger lock the enemies. We're kind of swapping between, you know, a dash strike and a slash and using the special here. I don't know. Whoa. I don't know what the average speedrunner does. I haven't watched a first run, uh, run, first run run in a very, very long time now. Shout out to some good friends that have done it and speed ran it for a long time. Nitro Starch, I think, is the, still the rec, uh, the world record holder. You can check out his run if you want to see a really fast time in it. Bareem held the record, I know, for a long time, too. I used to watch a lot of that. Let's see. So, yeah, I guess we're just going to go to the shop. So, I guess you would want to consider what you're picking up for meta currencies normally here, too. But I guess since we're trying to win every single run, I'm probably not going to think extra hard about it. Well, we can't get anything. We haven't been hit yet. Uh, so I guess that this is what it is. You know what I mean? The hardest part for first run is just beating Hades by a huge, huge measure. And the, I think one of the biggest reasons is that, well, there's always a lack of damage, but avoiding and evading Hades' attacks with one dash is incredibly difficult. You cannot have Hermes appear to give you more dashes either so you will have one dash for the hades fight and being stuck with a sword and you know there's no options for a quote-unquote range build i guess you could say like this is what it is you know like this is how you have to beat hades basically um now if you just wanted to quickly go through and get a second i guess we're gonna take athena here we have to get her a special if we want to get merciful end going if you wanted to still just beat a run of Hades quickly, you can technically take a a death uh, intentionally very early on and get to use the bow, for instance, uh, with a pretty quick time under, like, I think the record might be, or what they call second run or whatever, might be under 30 minutes still, so it's not too bad. It's still not too bad. Let's see. Oh, no, we did not get the special, and obviously there's no rolls here. Well, then, that does put a wrench in things. I think uh, we're just going to take Blinding Flash there. I do have the DPS meter on uh, in the bottom left, as we can see. That is a mod. We have modded the game officially here. So, <laughs> I could not even enter a uh, any kind of uh, leaderboard if we want to. Also, the fact that we have Hell Mode on is a massive detriment to trying to beat the first run of course, too. So we have pretty much everything stacked against this, but the biggest thing is honestly just the fact that I yeah, have not practiced uh, this at all. And uh, it, it, it takes a lot of practice. I think we've taken our first hit officially. This definitely takes a lot of practice. I mean, uh, it's not too bad to get to Hades, but I think it's sort of like however long it took you to practice to get to Hades, you can probably easily double that amount of time just to beat Hades in terms of practice time. I think. That's how. That's what I would say. Maybe even triple it. Hmm. Let's think about this for a second. We really have nothing to palm, of course, still. Unfortunately. I don't really want to take money. I was hoping for balloons. You know what I mean? So we need Athena's special uh, to unlock Merciful End. We need Ares' attack, too. I guess technically you could get the inverse of that. That would probably not be great, but at this point in time, it's not really looking like we're... That's going to just happen, you know? Uh, I think, of course, it's technically possible to beat Hades without the Merciful End combination, but that's going to be your best bet, you know? Uh, I don't think... Uh, even outside of the speedrun world, I don't know if people would really attempt it very much without that stuff. The key is nice this way we can unlock another weapon. 
when we're done with this run. At least we got that going on for us. It's just the easiest way to get actually get a decent amount of damage when you have s literally nothing on the mirror unlocked, right? And no, none of the weapon aspects, none of that stuff. We're not going to have weapon aspects till we actually beat a run. So these runs are going to be very challenging for a little while. Okay. All right, my friend. I'll be pleased with... I'll be very pleased with the run if we're able to reach Hades. But even that... <laughs> Even that, I'm not super confident in. Uh, any other oddities around the first run? I think I said everything. The limited god pool. Uh, no Hermes, no hammers. Hammers do not appear until the third run, actually. So even on our second run, we will not be offered hammers. I'm not going to take any intentional dives, though. It's actually good that we got more Athena here. Might buy the palm. We'll see, though. Please uh, show us the special here. Okay, we did get a special. I think I'm willing to palm it here, too. Just to try to hedge, I guess. Is that the terminology, maybe? I'm probably not going to farm dialogue so much or anything like that. We're not here to really experience the story nice and slowly. Not again, at least. Maybe maybe my lonesome time, I'd be interested. Definitely took us a while to reach Meg. Definitely wasn't easy. Oh, you can't see... On your first run, you cannot see Boldy. You cannot get any fountain rooms in any of them. You can't get any events or fountain rooms, I believe. I'm pretty sure. I think for Boldy to appear in particular, you need to have met Meg once. And then after that point, Boldy can appear. I'm pretty sure for that, that's the case. I'm not certain about the other events. I can't remember off the top of my noodle. What it takes to uh, make Eurydice and Patty appear. And you might be wondering, is there, like, special dialogue for beating Hades on the first run? And the answer, I'm afraid, is no. <laughs> there is nothing. Nothing of that sort, I'm afraid. No dialogue for when you meet him, no dialogue for when you beat him, or anything like that, if you do make it happen. Which might seem kind of like, I don't know, lame might be the word, but I think, to be fair to Supergiant, they wanted to keep pretty much all the achievements and like special things to be reasonable reasonable to achieve you know so they didn't want to put a, a distinctly difficult challenge out there just for a tiny bit of dialogue and make players feel bad when they're not able to do it you know same reason why you know there's no there's nothing special for beating 64 heat either right or any other really high amount of heat beyond like 32 ish i think and I, I think that's fair, personally. I'm, I'm okay with that philosophy. Dang it, Meg. All right, Meg went down. I don't think there's much for me to really discuss here in terms of strategy and what the buttons we're pressing. Obviously, the special's gonna do most of the damage when that's the only thing we have palmed right now, but basically, our combination might look something like this. You can't really special that often. Plus, you have to use the dash to actually evade attack sometimes. So you might see me, like, do a swing. A couple swings, then special, then dash afterwards to kind of move it around and attack or something. We're still in quite a bit of danger. Hmm. We're probably going to take the Hydra Light. But we're going to skip the Cyclops. Cyclops Jerky, I think. Yarn is actually quite interesting here in the sense that it could help us pick up a very strong attack boon. The only problem is we can't afford both of these, you know? I guess we could sell Blinding Flash to make sure that we could. I wonder if Hydra Light is truly worth it. I'm not sure. So I'm hoping that that yarn will help us uh, get a stronger attack boon. They, obviously, Ares would be ideal, but if that doesn't happen at this rate, it's not really a big shock. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. The roguelike, you know what I mean? Sometimes uh, what you want doesn't happen. Try to make the best of a bad situation, you know? Sometimes that's the fun of it. And you're probably going to see this a lot more in the upcoming videos of us trying to make the best of a bad situation when we have no rolls and no keepsakes going on, right? Uh, there's definitely going to be a lot of lemonade being made for sure. And that might be interesting if you haven't seen me try to do some of these uh, early game challenge runs before. 
Now I have done fresh file the credits many times. Many times. Fresh file the credits means that you start a new save file. You go all the way to the credits all in one run as quickly as possible. We're going to farm keys mostly for now, I think. Um, yes, you were allowed to die, so that doesn't really make it a big deal. So you kind of take two deaths quickly on purpose so that you can start getting hammers appearing. And then, but it's, it's challenging still, you know, it's still quite difficult when you don't really have a lot of utilities the game would normally have when a, on a maxed out save file. I think to kind of talk a little bit more now that we've kind of, ooh, gone over most of the details here to talk a little bit more about hell mode and why I find it to be disappointing, I guess. I think it's, I mean... I think it's just not what it could have been. It feels kind of like a unfinished idea a little bit, you know? It's supposed to be an extra difficulty in the game, uh, but in reality, it's just them forcing five specific uh, pact of punishment conditions. Oh my god. I can't really show you what those are yet, I think. Can I? Oh, you can actually show you what they are right here. Real quick, hard labor, lasting consequences, jury summon, calisthenics program, and the one that is special to hell mode personal liability you're out of defense which is brief invulnerability after a burst of damage is 100 percent inactive which is probably a very confusing state basically if you get hit for a large percentage of your health in hades normally a invulnerability bubble will pop up on zag for a few seconds that would prevent you from taking more damage after that which is you might not really totally notice it you might kind of see that like it happens but you probably don't really think about it that it occurred right it's a it's just meant to kind of help players from just getting absolutely wombo comboed too much right if you get a big swing from Charon's or something like that <laughs> um so it's not the worst pack the punishment it's it's fine in terms of like being worth one heat it's not the end of the world it's actually uh jury summons is actually really annoying and calisthenics program is even more so i think in terms of the other packs that are forced to be on at all times. Try not to get lava here. Alright, my witches, where are you at? Holy crap. Certainly got witches. Make sure we deflect all the bullets. Okay, so wave makers that get me. You get me? It's actually been a while. I, I was bit uh, I was a bit on a hiatus from Hades. Hiatus probably meaning only like three weeks in reality. No Ares still, I'm afraid. Crap. We do still have the yarn, so I guess we're gonna go to the shop. We cannot afford a boon, but we'll skip these two encounters to see if Ares can appear in one final hope. Well, not yet, at least. Now the question is, do we buy ourselves some health here? I don't think so. I think it would slightly overheal, too, anyway. don't think we saw another... Uh, I don't think we skipped a third mini-boss encounter. Oh, wait. I think we can't get one of the mini-boss encounters until you, we've met Hades in the battlefield. I think. I think it's... This is the witches, I think, that don't appear till later on, I think. So I think the mini boss is we basically skip the mini boss. <laughs> Which is not ideal, I I suppose, right? But we're we're we are trying to go for something in particular for the most part right now, so that's gonna happen. I feel like hell mode could have been something a little bit more, a bit more flavorful. It doesn't even mean that it needed to be like Strictly more content with lots of secrets and, you know, has a lot more than another mode has. I think the fact that you turn it on at the start of save file and you can never turn it off again seemed just unnecessary. It seemed like it could have been a toggleable kind of like god mode is on anyone's save file. And I feel like I would have just been okay with it as a feature. But I feel bad for any players that start off with hell mode thinking that, you know, this is going to be an extra fun challenge or something along those lines, right? I'm going to take the money here, actually. I'll explain why in a moment. Um, you know, thinking that this this will make the game more interesting, but in reality, you can essentially play with hell mode on, on a regular save file at any point if you wanted. It kind of just makes your save file less versatile in that you can't customize some of those heat options that are always on, right? So it just, it just feels kind of odd. 
We're taking this run because I want to make sure we have enough money for the shop in case that is where we go. Maybe one more effort to see Ares if he would like to appear for us. Probably not. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Relax, relax. Okay, my friends. We still got a wave maker hiding on us. Oh my god, they're still spawning. Found the wave maker at least here. Whoa. But yeah, wait. Hell mode could have just been a toggle bowl probably in the menu that you turn off and on. There, I mean, we there's ideas that we could probably brainstorm around it being a whole new mode that would not necessarily require like a ton of dev work. I mean, you can make it like a slightly catered mode where it's sort of like hardcore, right? Where if you die, then your save file gets deleted or something like that, right? Now, it, I mean, you could just make it like our, any old Hades save file star, but I think in reality, to kind of ease up on the, the spike of difficulty at the start, uh, it's Athena. I think we take it anyway at this point, because it's just too late to hope for Hermes after this. Uh, to make up for that difficulty spike at the start, maybe you could cater it to make it a little easier at the beginning, and then it scales up harder later, etc., etc. All right, well, it's just uh, we're on the Athena ride, I guess. Yeah, we're just going to have to take the attack now, because we, we cannot wait any longer for Ares to appear, so... It kind of destines us to death, I guess, later on, but that's okay. I mean, I can assure you that I was destined to death anyway. It allowed me to spoil it ahead of time. This isn't even a, like, hey, man, you got to have more confidence in yourself. To... No, it's just, this is reality. You're going to have to trust me on it. <laughs> oh, come on. How'd you do that, Lerny? Realistic. That's all I'm being here. Okay, gonna attack Boon at least. Who knows? Maybe, baby. Oh god, I got hit again very stupidly. I don't know if I really have any particular strategies to discuss here. Gotta watch out for those head slams. The wave maker heads aren't too bad for us right now since we're not really in a big rush to kill anything. You know, like you know what I mean. If this were a speedrun, we I would be very annoyed by these heads, but these are pretty easy when you have Athena on your side, right? I guess I'll grab this cast. Doesn't actually do anything, though. Lodging it isn't going to give us any extra damage, because we don't have that part of the mirror unlocked. That was very painful. Keep getting uh, bonked by the slams here. You can deflect it, I, I'm fairly certain, at least. It's been a long time since I, I've had to think about it. You just gotta dodge at the right time. Or at least you can iframe through it. I guess I'm gonna do the head that's closest to us for now. Okay. Got the lava heads. Hey, buddy. Oh, come on. <laughs> Got him. On my way, we're on my way. <laughs> the arena's so big and roomy. Oh, come on. I thought I would make it. Yeah. Need to be more careful. We're losing our health here, though. It's those, uh, it's those head slams really get you, you know what I mean? Two, three. Okay. Oh, come on. I got locked into the special. That's the only thing that's hit me like the entire time, essentially, there. But yeah, that's just sloppy play on my part, honestly. It shouldn't be that difficult. It's probably me staying in for the fight for too long, too, you know? We're not in a rush. 20 health I got down to. Rough. 20 health. Let's see. Any heals? Eyes of Lamia is okay. We're going to have to take it. We can't sell anything here. We got to keep it all for sure. We'll do our best. Elysium will definitely sort us. It's definitely going to filter us out almost certainly, to be honest. 
<laughs> it's pretty rough in here. Once you especially get some, uh, some armor and enemies. Okay. Is there really anything that Dionysos could help us with more so? I'm trying to think. Honestly, getting premium vintage would be nice just so that we actually get a nectar on our first run here. It would allow us to get a keepsake for our second run. Namely, Skelly's uh, Tooth. We have three keys, 30 darkness. That is not a lot of darkness, actually. That is very, very little darkness. Annoyingly little. Athena, like, there's really not a whole lot she could give us. You cannot get Death Defiance boons from her if you do not have a Death Defiance unlock. Uh, and the mirror, so she cannot help us from that method, unfortunately. So I guess I take Dionysus in that case then. Honestly, just kind of hoping for a premium vintage. Because otherwise, with the amount of darkness that we currently have, and without any Nectar to our name, the second run's going to go quite poorly too. But I promise not to throw any runs on purpose. At this junction, at least. <laughs> Hmm, butterfly ball is kind of whatever here. Oh, 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 12 damage? That's the swords actually getting me, honestly. Spicy. One eye of Lamia here. Okay. We're focused in, we're ready. All right. There's really, like, trippy shot is not really gonna help. We might have to end up taking it anyway here, though. Hey there, Zagman. Hey there, Zagman. Nice cat. Ah, uh, after party? It's actually kind of okay here. 30%. Does that show me how much health I got right now? We got 19 out of 125. 30% of 125. What is that? It's like almost 42. So it'll actually heal us not in this chamber, but the one after this. So I guess it's kind of okay. We didn't get the boon that we actually wanted. I guess it's going to do something. I'm kind of happy to see Bowman in this chamber after getting tossed around by the swordsmen. Except for their corner hiding abilities. I really don't like it. It's like they're playing freaking laser tag here. Dude, just come, come party with me, okay? More butterfly balls. Just gonna focus on the bow boy here, I guess, for now. Is there another bowman I'm not seeing? No. Guess not. Now the special... Will kind of disperse pretty much all the butterflies. The butterflies feel a bit wonky to me, though. It doesn't... Nothing really reliably does them in. We did get slightly healed. Yeah, I guess ideally I'd leave the sandwiches on the ground. There's Ares, the jerk. I guess we take Ares anyway here. Because the palm isn't great. Who knows? Maybe Ares will swap out the attack for us. I think it's still possible on your first run. I don't know why it wouldn't be, to be honest. Good thing these are not armored chariots right now. Get my holes torn open. Still got torn open on porch. Oh, and down I go already. Disappointing, honestly, how quickly that went. But hey, that's how mode for you, baby. What can you do? I don't know if we're really going to do super well in the second run either, to be honest. Oh, God, the house looks so plain. I'm home. I'm, I'm worried because we really did not get resources that we wanted, unfortunately. Now, you don't have to talk to anyone here. I think I recommend talking to Nyx because... In order to unlock the second mirror and a few other things, you're going to need to talk to her pretty early on. But after that, you don't really need to talk to pretty much anyone. The lounge opens up after, oh gosh, I don't remember, five-ish runs, I'm going to say. Achilles, you also need to talk to to unlock some of the aspects later on and some other story things. But Hypnos, Hades, and I think Meg, I don't think any of them are necessary. We'll check out the Fatal List and see what... Oh, wait, we, I don't think we had the Fatal List yet. Use the mirror to grow stronger. Ah, we can get one Death Defiance, but I can't actually get a second dash, which I would totally prefer to get right now. <laughs> so we're still going to be stuck on one dash for our second run, unfortunately. Man, that certainly does not feel amazing. Okay. Uh, yeah, and we have no... Uh, 
we have Escape no nectar to get a keepsake we would just take uh skellies if we could but that's just not gonna happen there um i don't know we got three keys i don't know if i should be doing what we should be doing and in what order but i guess since we got three keys we should probably spend three keys and i guess the next one is gonna have to be with the shield and thus skelly should be appearing now so we can talk to him you don't actually need to but if you need to if you want to give someone nectar you gotta talk to him first i believe so i mean that's pretty much gonna be it they're gonna show you the pack to punishment you normally would not see the pack to punishment unless you've actually finished a run but because of hell mode we do get to see it early here yes we can never turn these off so yeah i'll be honest we're probably not gonna win the second run but who knows well we should do better at least i would imagine with the death defiance right but anyway that's got the save for episode two i hope you all are going to enjoy this I know I will. I appreciate the run through memory lane. In the next episode, we'll probably discuss what's going on with Hades too. I mean, I don't have new news, just to be clear. I don't have any special inside stuff. But to kind of catch people up that aren't in the loop as to what we can expect from early access, uh, uh, early access of Hades 2, that is where we will begin. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. You know the deal. I'll appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.